think you're doing? Going over your records. I'm just trying to help. I don't want your help. That's not what you said yesterday. Well, I was wrong yesterday, and this proves it. You had no right to go behind my back. This is not the first time I've been through your records. What? Well, you showed them to me yourself when you told me Hank's mileage was off. I went through them a second time after you let them go. And today, I've been going through them to find every false emergency alarm that's come in since July. How dare you? How dare you go? Lady, you just be glad it's me going through it, not Roger Coleridge. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Hasn't it dawned on you yet? Every one of those crank calls came through you. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. The records suggest one of two things. Either you're involved in a scam using the service, or somebody's sure making it look that way. Either way, you're in deep trouble, my friend. Tell me, darling, how late were you up last night planning that little entrance? For the last time, Roger, I stopped by on impulse to wish Max and Siobhan good luck. <laughs> An impulse dictated that you wear those shoes and that uh, party dress? I happen to believe in good manners. Perhaps you've heard of them. When did you acquire manners, my dear? Since you started working on the campaign or since you started working on Frank again? You know that, don't you? Yes, I know. Thank you. Oh, darling, have a wonderful trip. And don't worry about Sean. He'll be fine. How are you? Thank you for the absolutely beautiful reception. Yes, it was. It was. Thank you very much. Thank you for making me making me feel welcome and and, and, and very grateful. Oh, don't be grateful. You're one of the family now. Well, that's the best wedding present you could give me. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. Well, you ready for the rice? Yes. Um, no, I'm not ready for the rice. <laughs> That's over with. Francis. Wonderful. Don't score. You know, I've had a lot of time to think lately, Ma. But I've been thinking about what my life would be like without Jill. Without the people I love. And you know, I I, I can't picture it. I just come up with this really empty feeling. <laughs> I wouldn't want to wish it on anybody, much less Siobhan. So what do you think, Ma? You think there's some hope left for number one son? Huh? <laughs> Sunday at 8, 7 central, an airport siege leads MacIver into a battle zone for survival on MacIver. Then they escape from one living hell and are chased into another. Two convicts on the run, 
who couldn't like each other less or need each other more. Carl Weathers and Robert Urich star in The Defiant Ones, the ABC Sunday night movie. Can Steve escape Cecilia's revenge? Stay tuned for Loving, next.